This film is intended for eye surgeons for training and education purposes. Viewer discretion is strongly recommended. Hi friends, this is Dr. Deepak Meghur and uh, today's case is yet again an intumescent lens and uh, I begin by performing the side port incisions. The incisions are performed with a nice tunnel which add a great stability to them. At the slit lamp, this cataract did look like a swollen in- intumescent lens but the underlying lens was obscured by the swollen cortex. So typically in all intumescent lenses, my plan is always to perform a two-stage rexus. After seeing the anti-capsule, I prefer to use dispersive OVD. Orocoat is a brand which I am using here in this case which has combination of sodium hyaluronate and chondroitin sulfate which is something like viscoat. The main 2.8mm incision is created with a bevel up keratome. The capsule is punctured gently and then the rexus is initiated with the forceps. At the moment, I'm using the tearing technique. Carefully have a look at the flap which is being held flat and then being torn. This will help me to create a smaller initial rexus. Although the tearing is not well controlled in the typical shearing technique, I find this tearing technique to be ideal uh, to use uh, it when creating the small primary rexus in these swollen lenses as it minimizes the chances of the rexus running away. Now I need to decompress the bag before performing the secondary larger rexus. Since many of these intumescent lenses have swollen lens fibers which have a jelly-like consistency which is more like the epinucleus, I prefer to use a wide board cannula like this 23G cannula which comes with the viscoelastic HPMC. I use this to aspirate the swollen cortex and comes off quite easily. Once the visible cortex is aspirated from the anterior surface of the nucleus, Passive irrigation is used to burp out the swollen cortex which is hidden at the equator of the capsular bag of the furnaces and some of the swollen cortex behind the nucleus is gently nudged out by tapping the nucleus. Once all the swollen cortex both in front and behind the nucleus is flushed out, I am injecting viscoelastic in the antechamber, uh, the direction of which is far away from the rexus to prevent the OVD from getting into the bag which might again increase the intracapsular pressure. Now using a micro forceps, a tangential cut is given to the rexus margin. A flap is raised and the rexus is being enlarged in a very controlled manner. Now the underlying nucleus shows its true colors. This brown bulky nucleus was hiding behind the soft fluffy white cortex. A slightly bigger rexus is beneficial when dealing with these bulky hard lenses. My strategy for nucleus management is to create a deep trench in the central core of the nucleus and then perform vertical chop. While trenching, I am using my chopper to stabilize the nucleus. Once I have sculpted to about 70% of depth of the nucleus, I change my settings to the chop mode. The tip of the phaco needle is buried into the nucleus and then using a sharp chop or vertical chop is initiated. I need to repeat this maneuver of lateral separations at progressively deeper plane to achieve the posterior plate crack. The nucleus is rotated and the opposite end of the initial crack is completed. Each of these hemineuclease is then chopped into smaller fragments. Now this case is a beautiful demonstration that having a bigger rexus makes nucleus division and emulsifying it very easy but at the same time also has a disadvantage that the nuclear fragments which are not being emulsified at that particular moment would still come out of the bag because there is less of a barrier effect and these free floating nucleus have an increased chance of hitting the endothelium.
and we can see that there is this extra fragment which is uh, out of the bag and can touch the endothelium anytime. Eventually, all the fragments were emulsified. A little bit of remaining cortex is then aspirated. There seems to be an area of this corneal epithelial defect. I really don't remember exactly when this happened, but uh, nothing to worry, it's going to heal on its own. The lens is being placed into the bag now. That's it, the case is done. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching.